Today I, will, I want to concentrate totally on something called empathy. Empathy is extremely important uh, in your work life and in your uh, personal life. Um, what I mean by this is that um, you're looking at um, any any job you do, and what I what I work in is customer service, and you know any any job that you do, you want to make sure that you have high energy and high empathy. Uh, with your customers, especially, um, and almost every job uh, has customers. If you're a policeman, you have the public. If you're a city councilman, you have your constituents. If you're customer service, it's all of your company's customers to make it right for the customer, to make it right for you, to make it right for uh, all the way across the board. Right for the company, right for you, right for the organization, right for your team. So. Um, this concept of customer service can work across the board in your personal life, in your home life, and in your work life as well. Um, and recently it was pointed out to me in my job that, um, and I, I take calls, customer service calls. I won't mention what company, it will be anonymous here. But um, it's mentioned to me that, you know, they found a call, phone call that was not where I just... Uh, sort of going in automatic uh, rather than responding uh, assertively to every statement the customer said with true 100% empathy. Um, and therein is the secret really to, I think, personal life and work life is that, that high energy empathy, getting that person on your side to say, I really understand and we're going to really try to help you right away. Uh, that's, that's the essence of the kind of energy that any customer service wants. We're going to help you right away. We understand. We're sorry this happened. We're going to make sure that we take, we do everything we can. So there's a, there's an, there's the empathy, but there's also, um, there's also a consistency as well. So um, basically, what we're we're looking at here is is something where you know it's sort of a two-part process. It's the energy. Um, and it's also, um, you know, it's it's the uh, it's it's the energy, and it's also well. Let's move over here to the living room because because uh, let's see how this is here for lighting. The uh, there the neighbor is doing some leaf blowing, and I don't want that sound to interfere. Okay, there we go. Here we are. Here we are. A little more comfortable place here on the couch. So, um, what you're looking at is the is the energy component and also the the process of empathy. Um, everybody has feelings for other people, but um, the style of interaction can be worked on for you know to make it the best as you know to make it the best thing possible. So. I looked up empathy on Wikipedia. Uh, empathy is the capacity to recognize feelings that are being experienced by another being, human being. Someone may need to have a certain amount of empathy before they're able to feel compassion. The English word was coined in 1909 by E.B. Titchener in an attempt to translate the German word, and I'm not going to even <laughs> I'm not even going to go there. With a German word, a new phenomenon explored at the end of the 19th century, mainly by Theodore Lips. It was later retranslated into the German language as empathy with IE, and is still in use there as empathy with an IE on the end. The English word was derived from the Greek word uh, physical affection, compassion, partiality, uh, which comes from the roots of passion or suffering. The term was adapted by Hermann Lotze and Robert Vishner to create the German word Infulung, which means feeling into, which was translated by Edward B. Tischner into the English term empathy. So there's a little bit. I know when, when my uncle was alive, he was really interested in... There's the kitty. Come on. When my um, uncle was alive, he was very interested in the entomology, I think is the term, the, the meaning of words and the origins. Uh, which is it is very interesting when you look at the origins of words. Empathy is an ability um, with many different definitions. Uh, they cover a broad spectrum ranging from caring for other people and having a desire to help them 
to experiencing emotions that match another person's emotions, to knowing what the other person is thinking or feeling, to blurring the line between self and other. Uh, so here are just some of the definitions. Uh, Daniel Batson says it's a motivation oriented towards the other. Uh, D.M. Berger, the capacity to know emotionally what another is experiencing from within the frame of reference of that other person. The capacity to sample the feelings of another or to put oneself in another's shoes. Okay? Kitty, can you get away over here? Just sit over there. My cat is trying to attack the laptop here. I apologize for that. Okay, so um, oh, a couple of other definitions. A sense of similarity and feelings experienced by the self and other without confusion between the two individuals. Uh, the capacity to be affected by and share the emotional state of another. To assess the reasons for the other's state. To identify with the other, adopting his or her perspective. This definition extends beyond what exists in many animals, but the term empathy applies even if only criterion, uh, if, if only a criterion is met. Uh, Nancy Eisenberg, an effective response that stems from the apprehension or comprehension of another's emotional state or condition. R.R. Um, Greenson says, the, to empathize means to share, to experience the feelings of another person. Alvin Goldman, the ability to put oneself in the mental shoes of another person to understand her feelings, his or her feelings or emotions. A complex form of psychological inference in which Observation, memory, knowledge, and reasoning are combined to yield insights into the thoughts and feelings of others. Uh, Heinz Kahoot says empathy is the, the ability, the capacity to think and feel for oneself in the inner life of another person. Uh, Harry Prozen says an emotional understanding which allows one as a therapist to resonate with one's patients in deep emotionality. So it influences the therapeutic approach in alliance with the patient. Carl Rogers, Carl R. Rogers, one of my favorites, uh, to perceive the internal frame of reference of another with accuracy and with the emotional components and meanings which pertain thereto as if one were the person, but without ever losing the as-if condition. Thus it means to sense the hurt or the pleasure of another as he senses it and to perceive the causes thereof as he perceives them, but without ever losing the recognition that it is as if I were hurt or pleased, and so forth. So, empathy involves the inner experience of sharing in and comprehending the uh, momentary psychological state of another person. Empathy is about spontaneously and naturally tuning into the other person's thoughts and feelings, whatever these might be. There are two major elements to empathy. The first is the cognitive component, understanding the other's feelings and the ability to take their perspective. The second element to empathy is the effective component. This is the observer's appropriate emotional response to another's emotional state. Empathy is what happens to us when we leave our own bodies and find ourselves either momentarily or for a longer period of time in the mind of the other. We observe reality through his or her eyes, feel their emotions, share in their pain. So since empathy involves understanding the emotional states of the other people. The way it's characterized is derivative, derivative of the way emotions themselves are characterized. If, for example, emotions are taken to be centrally characterized by bodily feelings, then grasping the bodily feelings of another will be central to empathy. And there are even studies that are going on. To, that there, are, there are what are called mirror neurons in the body, that are in the brain, uh, that... Um, are essential to this empathy that we, we talk about, that, that there's actually a brain component to, to uh, sensing empathy or feeling sorry for someone, putting ourselves in the shoes of others. So it's really uh, interesting how, from the point, standpoint of science, that we're trying to understand empathy. There's a, there's a guy on YouTube that devotes all his videos to understanding empathy and he's got a quote by Obama and it starts off with empathy is the essential characteristic for putting oneself in the shoes of others. I think it's something like that. So, um, <clears throat> no, it's very, very, very important to have empathy and this is these are the kinds of things that can save us actually, you know, at the risk of being dramatic. These are the kinds of things that can save society, that to recognize that we all must have empathy for each other, and if we all start caring about each other rather than labeling each other Democrat, Republican, or 
or he's a neocon or or she's a liberal or she's a greenpeace whack job or he's a he's a uh, stupid libertarian or or she's a um, she's a, too conservative or or you know uh, he's narrow minded or whatever you know just let's just realize that we're all in this boat together and it's not does it's not a very long trip so so we should try to be kind to each other and use empathy as much as possible so so empathy involves the component of cognitively understanding and then the energy to to um, show it so there's there's two different things going on here there's the the energy you can care deeply for somebody but if you don't show it then nobody knows you have it so that's the catch-22 right there anyway so there's my thoughts on empathy that's probably enough for now but it kind of all started when I uh, and uh, <clears throat> when my supervisor at work pulled me aside say hey, this is not typical of you um, there was a, it was a customer who who was talking about uh, his I think his mother going to the nursing home and uh, and I said oh, okay well I can definitely take care of your needs today and I it didn't show the right inflections and energy to say oh man that's you know that's that's terrible that I'm sorry to hear that and right up front you know that's that energy right up front to tell the customer to sure to assure the customer that that I'm on in the same I'm I understand so it's important in business it's important in relationships it's important as husband and wife for a husband or wife to uh, show each other that they really care and just saying the words that I care about what you went through or I care about you I care about what happened to you today um, that can make all the difference in the world you can think you can feel empathy but unless you project it uh, in the right and in, 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 with enough energy it doesn't mean anything